For 30 years, Loyola Medicine has operated the largest and most successful lung transplant program in Illinois. Loyola has performed more than 900 transplants, more than all other Illinois centers combined. Now, Loyola is the only center in Illinois participating in a multi-center clinical trial of a technology that could increase the supply of donor lungs. The technology is called Ex Vivo Lung Perfusion. Dr. Daniel Dilling is medical director of lung transplantation. Up to 20% of lungs that were otherwise deemed unusable can become usable by assessment in ex vivo lung perfusion. This increases the number of lungs that we can have to transplant. Ex vivo lung perfusion enables physicians to do an in-depth evaluation of a donor's lungs. After the organs are removed, they are flown to a lung assessment center in Maryland. The lungs are inflated with a ventilator and a solution of proteins and nutrients is circulated through the blood vessels. Donor blood remaining in the lungs, including medications, is diluted and filtered away. Also removed are blood clots. And during that time, we're able to see much more clearly what's going on. You can visibly see the outside of the lungs. You can see how they expand and deflate on the ventilator. You can take x-rays of them, bronchoscopies are done, and other assessments are made about how stiff they are and how well they inflate and deflate. So then we make a decision. Is this lung good or is this lung not good? And if we think it's good, it gets repackaged, put on ice, and brought back home on another airplane where we receive it in the operating room. Bob Fallett is the first Loyola patient and the first in Illinois to receive a lung transplant following ex vivo perfusion as part of this trial. Dr. Dillon talked to me about the ex vivo because my lungs were getting worse and the transplant list, priority list, was getting longer. I think my dad realized that this was his best option along with his age. Um, and just the fact that, you know, you never know when you're going to get that call. So we received a phone call about um, a donor that actually looked like a good quality donor. We decided to send these lungs to Silver Spring, Maryland, where they were received and put on the machine. And we were able to assure ourselves that this was a high quality lung and we accepted it. Mr. Fallett did great with his recovery. In fact, he was out of the hospital in about a week. Viola is my home now. You can't say enough, and Dr. Dilling is my hero. He's back to being my dad, back to the dad that I knew who was active and wants to do stuff. I saw it on my, my kid's face when they went there the other day, and just how excited they were, and it's just great. And I, I couldn't be happier with the decision we made for the Ex Vivo. Um, and it works. I mean, we're here to say that it works. Loyola takes on the most complicated cases, so if you've been turned down by another transplant center, consider getting a second opinion at Loyola. Loyola Medicine, we treat body and soul.